Hey y'all, welcome back. Number five says, running at an average rate of six miles per hour, how many minutes would it take Kyle to run three miles? Well, first, we have to know um, that there are 60 minutes in one hour. Okay, so that's just going to be assumed knowledge at this point. Okay, so if, if he's running at a rate of six miles per hour, how many minutes would it take him to run three miles? Let's just stick with hours for, um, for now, um, and we'll convert it to minutes later. So we're gonna set up a proportion here. We're going to relate the miles per, uh, to hours. So if it, at the beginning it says running an average of rate of six miles per hour, they run six miles per one hour. We wanna know proportionally um, how many hours is it gonna take for him to run three miles? So, um, as you can see here, um, the scale factor is just going to be to divide by two. So, it's pretty obvious what our answer is going to be. Um, but if you want to use the cross products property to solve this, what you would do is you would multiply each numerator by the other denominator and then set those two products equal to each other. Again, if you want to look up more information about this technique, this is using the cross product property. Right? And feel free to Google that and find some more information about it. But basically, we want to cross-multiply uh, these two ratios. So we have 6 times, and this question mark, I'll just I'll call that x for now. Okay, maybe we'll, we'll use x instead of question mark. x miles. Um, so we have 6 times x equals 3 times 1. Okay, three times one. Now, three times one, as you should know, is just three. And so to solve this, we would divide both sides by six. So we get x equals three over six, which is one half or 0 0.5. So basically what this means is um, in terms of hours, it would be a half an hour. Okay, so the number of, oops, this should be hours. Sorry about that. Um, this number right here should be 0.5 hours. Now the question is asking how many minutes is that? Okay, so if 60 minutes is an hour, which it is, not sure why I said it there, uh, but if 60 minutes is the same as one hour, then we could say that 30 minutes is the same as half an hour. And so our answer here will be B. That's it for number five. Thanks for watching and y'all have a great day.